Alright lads, welcome back to Albion. I'm about ready to head into the next level. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get my ass kicked too hard. And with a bit of luck, I'm finishing this dungeon because god damn, this has been dragging on for quite a while. This is a huge dungeon. Big, big boy dungeon. And yeah, this is the part where we reach, yeah, this is interesting. So, you basically have your red buttons and your green buttons, which very obviously spell good things and bad things, essentially. Look at that, the bees behind the red walls, we're doomed if they get out. Watch your step. Yeah. It is actually true. I don't think there's any point actually braving these these animals and trying to fight them. However, I do believe if I press this button, I open up this area, I fight a few Warniacs, which should be doable. Compared to the animals, at least. Let's see, what do we do about this? This is actually not that bad, it could have made this a lot worse. As long as I kick the ass of the yellow one. I think I should be fine. I hope, I really hope. Let's see, Blighting Spark. No. Um, hmm. Blinding Ray, Frost Crystal. The problem is, I want to train these other spells, but... They take so much mana, that's basically it. Maybe I should do the Sleep Spores. You, Malthas, you can sort of mm, do something useful. Do something useful. Do the shield. There you go. And then I'm gonna have you guys slay the rest. Gonna have Dreer focus on the yellow one. And there we go. Hopefully that's gonna do something useful. Don't kill Tom. Do not kill Tom. Thank you. Yeah, the whole issue with the sound working out is a bit sad. But I don't think there's anything to do about it. Um, the thing is, I, I'm, I'm a bit wary if I like try to find a different version of the game. Um, that my save games wouldn't actually cross over, so I'd have to do the whole game again, which I'm not really looking forward to, if I'm being honest. As fun as this game is, I have shit to do. Let's see, um, Sira, can you do something else? Sort of just train something. Remove, sure, you can cast remove trap, just to train it, that's fine. And then I'm gonna have you cast... Um, boasting on this dude. Sure. Why the fuck not? There you go. Ooh, never mind. I guess that's pretty much it. Let's see. Can I sort of mutilate the rest without too much issue? That's one. That's two. And maybe I can move to rear right here. There we go, this should go over smoothly. Come on guys, you can do this. Tag the dude, tag the dude. There you go. Oh, come on lads, you shouldn't be missing this. There you go. Um, who did I give my garbage to? You. That is one. That is two. And there's more. Of course there's more. Ooh, oh wow. Shit, this might be an issue, but I do still have my spell potions. Maybe I can pull it off if I use those. Let's see. Um, I think I'm gonna have to. Let's see. I think I ordered these in strength, right? I sure hope so. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just gonna down these shitty potions. 
I mean, there's no reason not to, really. I'm gonna find enough, hopefully. I don't actually know, but... If push comes to shove, you know, I'm just gonna buy some. What happens if I cast Berserk on Trier? Is that gonna lead to goodies? Gonna lead, like, to good tidings? Since Syrah can't really do anything useful yet, because we're waiting for the enemy to move in. I'm just gonna have you cast something useless. There we go, there we go. And now we sort of deal with the yellow one. Beep. Do 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 do. So have you attacked that? Have you attacked this one? Sure. Wait, no. Have you attacked this one? And then Syrah really, really needs to deal with these guys. Hopefully. And you. I'm gonna have you cast... God damn it, you don't have any spell points. Um, hmm. This is quite sad. Fuck it. Potions it is. Do 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 do. This is actually a fairly tough fight. There's a lot of a lot of dudes here. Um, how about a magic shield on Rainer? There you go. There you go. That's a good start. Oh shit! Rainer is getting owned. Oh please don't kill Rainer. Come on, I need him to live. I'm gonna have to heal Drear as fast as I can. Um, I'm gonna have Syrah use the heavy stuff. Let's see. Let's cast a Frost Splinter right here. That's gonna do some damage. And then you can keep downing potions. Why can I not just use a Violet? Why not? Um, since you can like down a million potions in one turn anyway, there's like no real difference between the type of potion you use, is there? Let's see, can you heal Drear? Sure, that looks okay. I guess. Wait, I thought I told you to do the frost crystal thing. There you go. Wait, did I... Pay the right one. Yeah, Frost. No. No, Sira. Frost Crystal. Right on this row. This should do heaps of damage. Actually, not damage. She's not trained enough, but it should at least, like, block most of these assholes. Of course, once Zira actually managed to train the skill to the fullest, it's gonna do heaps of damage. So I'm gonna try to keep using it. Um, what else can you do, Zira? Can you do something useful? The Frost Crystal was a good start. I guess I'm gonna have you train the Blinding Spark. That's probably gonna be useful for a boss. How about this one? You are gonna cast... Yeah, you can keep going with the healing. That's fine. And you attack, attack, attack. That's good. Kind of want Drear to attack the green ones, but... Fuck it. That's ideal. That is perfect. Oh yeah, this is good. This is good stuff. Let's see. Hopefully I should be able to finish this now. I think I might quit with the spells. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is perfect. Basically just wail on the green boy. Come on, lads. It's box laying time. Hopefully there's... That was the last of them. 
Thomas reached level 15. Sweet. And we have a bunch of these crystals as well, which sell for quite a bit of money. I think that was the last one, hopefully. Yeah. So basically the game is teaching you that pressing the red button is a no-no. You get harassed, and you don't usually get like a decent reward out of it, as is evidenced by this whole bullshit. This is completely not worth it. Uh, let's see, I guess... I mean, I'm gonna take it anyway. But it's not worth it. Who am I gonna give it to? We can put it back. Great, fantastic, okay. Um, uh, inventory management. The staple of a great game. Who am I gonna give it to? Do I have anybody? capable of handling garbage. I guess Sira has like a good backup. Let's see, let's give everything we can find to Sira. Hopefully I don't have to trek back to the surface. I mean, Tom can still carry like a whole bunch of garbage. I shouldn't be worried. Do 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 do, nothing down here. Let's head out of here. Nope. Yeah. So, there is a green wall here. There is a giant thing of uh, animals all around here. And I think those are not even animals 1. Those are like animals 3, if I'm not mistaken. I could actually have a look. Let's see, I'm just gonna quickly save my game. I'm gonna, let, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys. Ariano Dungeon. There you go. So basically, um, I remember this puzzle. There's a bunch of green buttons, there's a bunch of red buttons. Obviously you have to press the green buttons without pressing the red buttons. If you press the red button, the red walls disappear and release the beasts. Yeah, and that's a whole bunch of assholes that you have to fight. And these are indeed animals 3. You just... You don't even have to bother. These guys are impossible. I think even Sira. It's sort of spells, like the, the, the one thing that could help you is the Frost Splinter and it probably doesn't even do anything. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna battle until I die. Yeah, there you go. Dreer is gone. It seems like Sira's spell actually works. But, you know, without Dreer, we're pretty much done. Against three animals, so, I mean... <laughs> You gotta let my guys die. Actually, I'm not even gonna bother. You see how it goes. Wait, did did you just kill one of the animals? Did I see that right? How did you do that? Uh, how did one animal just die? That's a bit weird. Did I level my guys right? Did I like play the game well? I guess I did. It seems like my guys have a very, very minor chance of winning this. But you know, even if I can win one battle, I still have a million to go, so. Yeah. There you go. Bye bye, Sira. <laughs> Sad. Uh, the previous time I was here, I did wonder if it was a good idea to sort of train your your party, wait until like a later part of the game, and actually come back and end these animals. I don't think there's any treasure in the middle of that. So the only thing that you really stand to gain is like some XP, so... I presume like a whole buttload of XP, but still... It's probably not worth it. Just a waste of time. Yeah, it seems to be. Okay, so let's solve the puzzle. Basically, you press all the green buttons. Which you have to be very careful with.
this can be a tiny bit of a nuisance because you have to be really really minute about traversing this area if you sort of even step over a corner of one of the red buttons you're pretty much done there you go um this is the hardest part I think, because you sort of have to move in between all this bullshit. There we go. And that seems to be it. Now I gotta make it out of here. There we go. And the last part is right here. There we go, and that does it. Now all I gotta do is make it out and bid you guys good day. Jesus. That is evil. Is there anything to see on the map? I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything, but still. Yeah, this is the part where I was before, so that's ba you're basically on the same level as that. Here we go. So again, we have red button and green button. At this point, it seems fairly obvious what you have to do. But there's also a hallway veering off. Ooh, with a blue button. Yeah, let's wait on that. Let's see what the green button is first. Which gives us... A room with some treasure. Ooh. Some rings. Sweet, I guess. I don't think these are magical, but they do sell for a bit of money, so... Oh. That's good enough. And over here we have... I probably should have saved my game. But we just have a treasure chest as well. Which contains... And if you've been following along... You should know that this is not going to contain anything useful. I only have two lockpicks. Is this even worth it? Ah, uh, I don't want to waste any lockpicks because I know whatever is in here is going to be cursed. I probably shouldn't waste my lockpick. I'm just going to save and check it. Let's see, Rainer, buddy, can you sort of do something about this? Yeah, it has a blue dagger, leather shield, and a small axe, and a minute amount of money. Not even enough to buy the lockpick again. Of course, the blue dagger, pretty sure, is gonna be cursed if I equip it to somebody. Hold on, let's see if I can do that. I sort of give it to Sira. Sira notes that there is a curse on the blue blade. The dagger hinders Sira's access to magic. Yeah, so that's not even a small curse. That is complete fuck it, you're done. You can't even use Sira anymore. She's completely useless in combat, so no. Yeah, let's not open that stupid chest it's a silly silly thing and let's continue instead there's a blue button here for some reason look blue floor plates by now we can assume that the red ones are dangerous and the green ones have a rather positive effect but what can the color blue mean let's check it out i don't know we should probably be careful who knows what it might unleash well it would be interesting to know what would happen but we Exactly! Hold tight! The entire building is gonna collapse over our heads. And rear the complete idiot he is. 
He's not wrong. So we do, in fact, fall through the floor. And then Tom sort of gives Dreer his comeuppance. He deserves it. Before you chew me out, let's find out how well we've survived the landing. It seems like everybody's okay. And we have hit another level in the Ariano dungeon because this place just never fucking ends. And I think I see a different wall. Ah! Now that is interesting. I'm assuming I can bash this down. Aha! Look at that! Secret! I wonder... I don't think I've seen this before. I might have missed it. It has a light chainmail, which Tom already has. Maybe I can give it to Rainer. Or Malthas. Maybe Malthas is better off. Let's see. Yeah, Malthas can use it. So I'm gonna give this one to you, buddy. If you can actually carry it. And the studded leather is probably gonna be useful for our final character. Yeah, definitely. There we go, look at that. We're getting upgrades. Let's see, can I equip Malthas with this? I can, but he can't really carry it. Oh, uh, this is an issue. Malthas, you're too fat to carry this shit. What I could do, what I could do, is, um, I'm gonna give this to Malthas. Which I'm assuming is gonna work out. Yeah, I'm gonna give this to Rainer. For now, like, temporarily, and then I'm gonna switch over. That is actually a great find. That is a fantastic find. Sort of goes to show that this dungeon does contain quite a few useful things. And that we're sort of getting towards the end of the dungeon as well because the, the rewards are definitely ramping up. Is this door open? It is. Hmm. Can I get past this? Oh, look at that! I st oh, I still have a bucket. Oh my god. I'm fucking. I'm a fucking precog. I knew this was gonna happen. Um. It's a dead end, though. Can I open this? I can, but then I run into the pit of fire. I might have to come back once I found a fountain. Let's see, what do we have around here? Is there something in the barrel? No. Mm -mm -mm. There is a fountain. Yeah, that's good. That's a decent start. Is there anything else in the room? Oh, there we have it. What do we have? A locked chest. Fuck it, why not? Not too sure if it's gonna be worth it, but yeah, probably, yeah. Potions, always useful. I don't know if they actually... I think they actually measure up to, like, the cost of one lockpick. They probably do. That's a good find. Um, anything in the second barrel? No, nothing. Are you sure? Yes, nothing. Okay. Let's see. Thank god I still have these buckets. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, have I gone that way yet? I miss... Did I try to open that? Well, I can open it, but I'm not going to because this feels more secrety. 
feel like I want to do this first. Hmm. What's this? Seems to be a type of force field. Produces a buzzing so loud that hair stands on its end, and the roots of Tom's teeth ache. <laughs> Weird. This field does not appear to be of electrical origin, and no en energy source can be detected. What in the world sustains it? This planet appears to have been created just to deserve the, the beliefs of physicists. Yeah, no shit. Are you talking about this now? We've seen magic happen. We know this is a thing, so... It's fairly late for you to start questioning this shit. If I'm being completely honest. You're a bit of a numpty rainer, but I've probably said this already. I'm probably gonna say it again. Okay, what do we have around here? We have a switch. Can I reach it without scorching us? There we go. Not too sure what that did, but... I could extinguish these fires if I really wanted to. I don't think I need to though, unless I see some walls that need bashing. I don't. Righty-ho, so that takes us back here. Oh shit, yeah. 